my fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just back at you again with another lesson. And um, as brothers should know, if you've been watching, you know, there's been a breaking news, a state of an emergency. And Trump had his second speech, which you just saw, you know, uh, just now before you, before your eyes. And, um, you know, main thing that he did well, was five takeaways he did, but I want to harp upon the major one, which is number one, um, travel ban. All right. Those leaving from Europe to come to America. And it says by Europe, he means the 26 countries. All right. So, so this is some serious times. All right. And, um, it's not to be taken lightly and, um, you know, from my daily walks through the day and the things that I've saw with my bodily eyes and heard with my bodily ears, you know, you can clearly see that if if this coronavirus continues, this is the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Because not only, you know, he's travel been, you know, and he said for 30 days. So let's see what's going to happen within these 30 days. Now, I watched a couple of credible news alternative news sites that speak upon the truth when it comes to dealing with america dealing with these elites and things of that nature you know putting that true news out there and a lot of talks is um how you know this could lead into martial law it could lead in them quarantining um quarantining um uh the people here in america all right um, there's a lot of talks of on, on all sides, man. You, you know, when you out and about, you got Jake saying that, um, this virus is not real. Um, that Jake is immune to it. Uh, only, only Esau and, and Moab can, can get it. Only the white people and Chinese people, you know, so there's a lot of talks, but guess what? Your eyes is focused on the wrong thing, whether it's real or fake. All right. First off, if you if you if you are uh, into the scriptures, you should know that this is Bible prophecy. All right. And secondly, the scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan devices. So we're not fooled by what's going on because we follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. What you need to be paying attention to is what's next. What is the what is Esau Edom, these elites, these international bankers, the Rothschilds? What are they going to do in these thirty days? Of this state of emergency due to the coronavirus you know what steps are they going to take next all right is this virus gonna you know get worse you know there's schools uh well what the brother told me he said his son's school closed because some i guess a teacher got it you know um my kid's school uh let wrote a letter you know every this is this is a this is fear man all right looming across the world through through this pestilence and um, Esau loves to uh, push fear because that's how he controls you, all right? But really, these Edomites are about to meet the king of terrors because they're the real terrorists. But the king of terror is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, as it's written in Job, all right? Now, <clears throat> I want to read a few scriptures, um, read a few scriptures real quick because of the times we're living in. And, it's, and this is a serious time, man. You got... Like I said, I say it again. You got Israelites all right out here getting ready to to party, you know, to make to to go to a concert Passover, 
All right. You got Israelites out here making rap videos with men that was a once part of the industry, you know, as if these things are cool. Like, you know, we should be chasing money or fame. Well, only thing we should be doing is, is first off praying, seeking mercy from the Lord, man. Blotting out, hoping the Lord blot out your sins, man. Uh, teaching his truth, pushing his truth harder than ever, man. Because the Lord said he come like a thief in the night. All right. The doors could be closed tomorrow. All right. This this um, coronavirus can actually bring forth uh, martial law and also for them to bring forth what? The mark of the beast, man. OK, to force the RFID microchip because the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, whether you believe that or not. We going to see this is not a time of mirth. You see celebrities coming out saying they had it. One celebrity that comes in mind is um the uh the the one of the uh uh ball players from Utah Jazz. You know, he's nice, he's good, you know, and he it says he has it, you know. So whatever. But it doesn't matter, you know. The, the what matters is what's gonna happen next. All right. So for those who have to hope for elect, you know, may the most high be with you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Barakatha Barakathum. Anyway, this is second edge of 16 and 61. He made man and put his heart in the midst of his body, in the midst of the body, and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yea, the spirit of the Almighty Yahweh, which made all things in search of our all hidden things and the secrets of the earth. Surely he know of your inventions and what ye think in your hearts. Even them that sin and would hide their sin. So at the end of the day, this is the Lord's movie, man. So how it plays out, it plays out according to his will. Even if these elites, you know, staging certain things, they're staging the coronavirus and they're using an algorithm computer to determine um, the uh, what people are saying to play on, in, you know, to play on the minds of the people because they're using an algorithm computer and using YouTube and the internet to actually figure out what it is that everybody is talking about or what it is that they can, um, you know, use to go forward, you know. But guess what? This is the Lord's movie, man. OK, this is not Esau's movie. He's just playing his part. It says, surely he know of your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works. And he will put you all to shame. And this is beautiful because in Esau, when when Esau believes that, you know, he's doing all these things behind closed doors and he's got us fooled. He think he's fooling the prophets, the men of the Lord. You know, he thinking, you know, he's um, he got everything going according to plan. Everything's working out. And then they see us doing videos saying the Lord, the Lord did it. The Lord did it. And they laughing behind the scenes saying, no, we did it. We did it. The, the Lord, the Lord is going to put you all to shame because when you go into this third world war, the Lord is going to crack those clouds, man. All right. When he when he cracked those clouds and the scriptures say in Revelation one and seven, every eye shall see him. All right. Then what you going to do? Then what you going to say? All right. The most high uses the creatures as as according to his will. All right. Anyway, it says, therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accuser in that day. What will ye do or how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? Behold, the most high himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins. And forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So that's the, this is the state of mind we're supposed to be in, man. You know, leaving off from your sins and forgetting your iniquities to meddle no more with them. <clears throat> all right. It says, so shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. We're approaching Jacob, Jacob's trouble. As long as this thing continues to keep amplifying the way it is, you got to know that this is going to be Jacob's trouble. And I remember years ago, Elder Apostle Tahar, um, in breaking, one of the Breaking Strong shows, he said, you're not going to have to tell someone this is Jacob's trouble. You're going to know that it's Jacob's trouble. You're not going to have to tell you, like, yo, this is Jacob's trouble. When you're going through it, you're going to know that this is Jacob's trouble. You know? So that's why I'm saying 
the way that these things keep going, we are approaching Jacob's trouble. All right. You hear that, Nate? Since you don't believe in Jacob's trouble. All right. Anyway, it says verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. All right. And main, that main thing, that idol is going to be that chip because Esau, his main goal is to force that chip. Everyone microchip. Everyone is going to be microchipped. All right. It says verse 69 and they and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot for there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. <laughs> you hear that? You Israelite camps that's out there getting ready for a, a Passover concert. OK, you hear that? You rapping Israelites. It says for there shall be in every place in the next cities. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. You calling yourself an Israelite? You got you all on Instagram. You on Facebook? You got your pictures up there. Kwame Ashala. Let me read it again. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall there be known who are my chosen. Because that's the uh, mystery. That's the real mystery right there. You know, who is the Lord's elect? Who is the Lord's chosen? It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. And you think of Yahweh Shai at this moment. When he was in the Garden of Semini praying, and then he went into his uh his darkest hour, man. You know, this is what we're gonna have to go through. So be ready. How do you be ready? Pray. Stand in the right spirit. The scriptures just said, um, let me go up. It says, uh, forget your iniquities, meddle no more with them, you know, and the most high will deliver you from all trouble. So it's a it's a time to how you manage yourself right now, man. You know, so if you're a sincere brother in this truth, separate yourself from that folly and that bullshit, man. Get away from those men that ain't right. Got to do it now, man. Got to do it now. Uh, verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. You see? So we don't have nothing to fear when it comes to uh, Jacob's trouble. All right? You know? Because we we follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Most High is our guide, our road map. All right? He counted the steps of man. Okay? Not us. Verse 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So it's about the commandments and precepts. You want to know what this thing is about? You want to know how you can be saved? First off, you got to give diligence to make your call and election sure. You got to call upon the true name of the Lord, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And it's about this commandments and precepts. Prophecy. Say of the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Why is the Lord constantly drilling this in about your sins? Because you ain't supposed to be meddling no more with it. You got to come up out of that shit. Put away the old man. Okay. Start striving righteously, man. As if you've never done before. <laughs> I don't mean to be over-righteous, but you got to do good, man. And and uh, striving righteously in the right path, walking the straight gate is what I mean. All right. We're not perfect, but we're striving. It says, verse 77, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over the bushes, with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. All right, so you got everyone playing their lot. And you got men that their sins cover them like bushes, man. Like a thorn of bushes. 
You know, when the Lord look at you, all he can see is blood. When the Lord look at his elect, all he can see is, you know, uh, 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 righteousness, man. Striving for righteousness, man. But when he see a wicked man, he see blood, man. So anyway, let me continue on. I wanted to read this book of Job, but probably going to have to uh, go back into this. But I'm going to read a couple of verses here. Because whatever Esau got next, the Most High is going to do this. Because their whole goal is to bring forth a new world order. Let's not forget. Forget it. I don't want to say forget about the coronavirus because you can't be constantly reminded every second, every hour of the day. But but we got to be focused on what's next. All right. Because the peasants have taken its place. All right. This coronavirus, the fear of it have taken its place in the earth. You can't take it back. You only can move forward. So it says Job 5 and 11 to set up on high those that below that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. So it's all about mourning. It's not all. It's not about rejoicing and partying right now. You know, it's about mourning, crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. This is beautiful. You know, this is a beautiful time because we seeing the, the, the downfall of Babylon, even though on the elites and it looks like a, 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 a come up, you know, they coming up, they finally getting it done. But guess what? The scriptures say um, he shall be taken while he is eating, man. So when Esau start chipping and start quarantining and martial law and this thing get ugly out here, as you see on your TV shows or Netflix series, you know, this is going to be reality. They're going to think they're winning, but they're actually losing. It says to set up on things on high that below that those think that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You see, what is their enterprise? Their new world order. So what's next? All right, what's going to happen in these 30 days? Is it going to die down? Or is we going to see more people get sick, more schools shut down, more jobs telling you to stay home and work? You're going to start seeing troops in the, um, are we going to start seeing troops in your cities quarantining? You know, what's next? It says, which, uh, excuse me, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And that's one of the traits of Esau. When you read about Esau, he is skillful. All right. And he's crafty. That's Esau. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet and they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty so so the poor have hope and iniquity stop it from mouth so we got hope man all right isn't we wasn't we called the bump the bummer lights you know the poor the filth the off girl you know the streets everybody look down upon us you don't think that we know what we're talking about you know you overlook us as i said in the lesson yesterday or the day before that folliness folly is applauded and and um wisdom is overlooked all right anyway it says so the poor have hope and iniquity stop it from mouth behold happy is the man whom the most high corrective therefore despise not thou the chastity of the almighty so when we getting rebuked for the name of the lord we're suffering for yahweh bashim yahweh shai that's beautiful it says for he maketh sore and bindeth up he woundeth and his hands make hold. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. And we're in that sixth trouble down, man. Okay. We're going to be in that seventh, that seventh trump. Okay. Which, which is really when we change into a twink, when we be changed into our new bodies, man. When the Lord deliver us. So no evil is going to touch us. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. So what we're approaching is a famine. A famine of the word. A famine of food and water. You know, like I said in my last lesson. Um, you know, the brother Shalomar in the camp. He called me late last night. How, how ridiculous these people was in Walmart. Getting water, you know, long lines and, and tissues and all that. Because of the fear of the coronavirus. Lysol bottles and, you know. My pops called me this morning with the same thing. You know, 
same energy, man, same spirit, you know? Then when I get up, I go on my daily stroll to do what I got to do. I see people with fucking masks on, walking the street. They got fucking white, uh, 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 what's that, uh, Lysol wipes in their hands and all that, <laughs> you know? But guess what? We got Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So let me continue. It says, uh, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and seventh there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it come. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. <laughs> so you see that? You people might think we're crazy, you know? These guys, the doomsday prophets, they're crazy. How, how do you how, how do you wish downfall on a place where you live? Y'all y'all are nuts. Well, the Lord said, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You're going to be laughing, man. The Lord is going to be laughing. <laughs> Did not the Lord say um, in Proverbs, the second chapter, when your fear come, he going to mock you, man? <laughs> All right, so the Lord is going to be laughing. We're going to be laughing at destruction. All right, at famine, because we understand that this is the down, this is Babylon the Great, which means great confusion, and the Lord eyes is upon the sinful kingdom, and he's going to wipe it off the face of the earth. All right, and he's going to redeem and deliver the elect. So it says, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, because some brothers are going to be out in the wilderness, man, be out in the field, in the woods, you know? It says, for thou shalt be in a lead with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thou tabernacle shall be in peace. And thou shalt visit thou habitation and shall not sin. Thou shalt know also that thou seed shall be great. And thou offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come in thou grave. Thou shalt come to thou grave in the full age. Like as a stock of corn cometh in its season. Lo this we have searched it. So it is, hear it, and know thou it for thou good. You know? So I hope this lesson was uplifting to brothers and brothers stay in a serious state of mind, man, because this could this could possibly be approaching Jacob's trouble, man. You know? And um everything is getting worse and worse. So let's see what they're gonna do next. You know, so I I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.